All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. I'm a eBay reseller who only does that for a living. I, I don't make full-time money. I make part-time money. I'm a stay-at-home dad for six kids, and so that's my full-time job. Yesterday, if you watched the video, you saw me say, this sold in the last couple of minutes, and this sold in the last couple of minutes, and we went ahead and shipped those. So I only have three to ship today. Uh, these two things I picked up together for a dollar and 84 cents I think at Goodwill these older stockings do remarkably well especially if they have an IP on them if like I found ones that are Ninja Turtles and Mickey Mouse and that kind of stuff they do really really well uh these didn't do super well they I mean they were cheap and they sold for 20 dollars free shipping this one has a yellow stain on the toe but I seem to recall that being there before so anyway these are uh, these sold for $14 free shipping. Uh, and so I'm not making a ton of money, but they're as easy as it could possibly be. I, for a dollar and 84 cents at Goodwill, I picked up the Sesame Street Clubhouse, um, from Fisher Price. And it had all these little figurines with it. And I'll put up that, that sold for that much money. I think it was in $20 plus shipping, maybe $25 plus shipping, uh, for those figures and it went pretty quickly and then this is like the door and the tire swing and the slide and the trap door and the merry-go-round that are parts for that uh building which is a different buyer harder to sell and this sold for 19 dollars free shipping and then this shirt uh was 2.99 at goodwill it's a cut tag so i found this single stitch men's small NHRA, uh, National Hot Rod Association, drag strip shirt in the kids section because it's little and it was cut tag. So anyway, it was $2.99 instead of the $6 they charge for men's t-shirts. And it sold for $20 free shipping. Took a little while, probably, probably six or eight weeks of being listed. Um, easy stuff to ship, easy money, $20. 40 and 53 I'll probably make $25 on shipping these three things and I spent three uh five seven bucks uh in round numbers so pretty good I mean making $25 for the whole day but I didn't actually make $25 for the whole day because those are left those are from yesterday that sold after we shipped so I had a couple of really good items yesterday but that's all that i've got for this let's uh take a look at what we do next hey guys so you just watched me on wednesday pack up three i only have two today this is an american fighter shirt that judah found for a dollar somewhere um it's red like fades up and says american fighter this stuff was really popular mma grunt i think grunt style people stopped selling because they're uh they were vero-ing people but um affliction i think affliction probably would still carry value but these like off-brand affliction walmart versions of affliction don't do as well that one sold for it's been listed a long time and it's all i think it sold for uh like seven dollars plus shipping here's my lovely assistant and then we found these yankee jerseys sold one paid five forty four a piece for them and sold one for forty eight and this one sold for fifty six so made quite a bit of money on that twelve dollar investment um but yeah sales have been really slow I ended up list just straight up listing not even no end and sell similar and I listed thirty yesterday so I'm gonna do some end and sell similar today I'm gonna see how many I can get listed but somebody's gotta go figure out who his second grade teacher is gonna be and stuff right yep all right guys we're at goodwill the whole fam everybody we are rocking we're gonna go do some grocery shopping but we got the back of the van full of donations so we're gonna drop some stuff off first and shop while we're here so these seem to be pickleball 310 we're gonna that name brand has a pretty good sell through uh, and at 310 I should get $20, $25 out of them. 
This looks like it used to have something taped to the top, like a remote, maybe. CFD SL5. I was wrong. These, when you look up the MX25, are not worth much. No, I mean, I saw, it's been here a long time. I saw it a while ago. It's for, I think it's for putting corks into your wine bottles, which is not something that we need. Here's a good find, and this is why it got skipped. So this soda stream machine is not worth much. And so they marked it at $7.50. But each of these is worth $20. So $20, $40, $60, $80, $100, $20 worth of, well, maybe that other, these two might not be quite so much, but. Anyway, that's a really good pickup. What would you to find? You found a Jordan hat for how much? It's a dollar eighty-four. Nice. And it's and a then, used size. And then I saw this and like a life vest wouldn't hurt to get. Do you nice. think that's for Grandpa's boat or for uh, Reese? It, I thought it could be either. Okay. I don't, I wouldn't most. sell a used life vest because if some kid drowns, they could come back on me. So we just found these, a dollar and eighty-four cents metal plate Oakleys. And there's two pairs, there's a silver and a black. So I don't know if I'll lock those up, but for four dollars I'm definitely gonna make money on two pairs of Oakleys. Uh, this Disneyland uh, is a dollar and eighty-four cents, and then there's the soda stream that we already talked about. Uh, this brand of uh, yeah, these are good uh, sandals as a general rule, and they're seven dollars. And then there's a Nirvana t shirt that's a, just a reprint, they're probably 20 bucks. I think everything else you guys saw, or is for personal stuff, we're not selling. All right, well, it is uh Friday morning at about eight o'clock, and Judah and Levi both have cross country practice, which is essentially just conditioning. Uh, officially start the school year uh, on Wednesday but they have practice early so we're gonna go get them but I know there's a yard sale at least one on the way to get them so we're leaving a few minutes early but it's mid-August and it's 59 degrees which feels a little nuts maybe we'll try to find some sales after we pick up the big boys but we're definitely gonna hit one maybe two before so Asher doesn't want to go in, so he is staying in the car with Ruby while we walk over here to this yard sale. And Caleb is running ahead. That's a cool chair. You like that chair? For two bucks, we'll definitely take that hunting vest. Probably ask Judah oh, if this has any age at all, and it may not, but still, I think you guys are in there, want to? Nest wing roofing hammer. That's a nice Sears tool chest. Let me look at them. I like doing these kind of things. We have an old craftsman. $30 for a box full of tools. And this is nice. But I don't see a lot of here. It's worth a whole bunch. Made in the USA Craftsman. These aren't vice grips, they're locking. Yeah. I'm really tempted by this. No, you can stay here with me just a minute. This is the real, like, piece de resistance here. So this sale looks like it's got a lot of stuff. Uh, I have all the kids with me, and I think only Caleb is coming to the yard sales. It's getting out. Somebody else is. How about some drum stuff? A drum. A whole bunch of baseball cards. 
Wilder. Oh, Little House on the Prairie. Ask her how much that is, huh? There's some vintage sweatshirts. This looks like it's going to be a pretty good set. I would have thought, but I don't see it. You got a good find there, I think. I didn't look it up, but for three bucks, I don't think we're going to go wrong. And then I got this Marlboro tracksuit. It's the top and bottom. And so we paid $3 a piece for those. Good morning. How are you guys? Pretty good. Hmm. Mixer. This is the second one I've seen. F5SS. 50 bucks is probably a really good price on that. This is neat. Pool. Oh, that's a whole pool. And dinosaurs and stuff and Barbie stuff. Is this hearts? Those are crazy. Those are crazy. Wow. Those are nuts. It feels like he's got a broken hip. I just knocked it. Good thing I hit my foot. Huh. So we got ourselves a little creature from the Black Lagoon. The packaging is not in great shape. I unpackaged it and didn't package it back up well. She had 50 on it. I don't often negotiate down, but he had he has a broken finger on both hands. And while I found one comp for uh, $425 sold, I also didn't, uh, there was a lot of, there's a re reproductions that sell for 40 bucks. So I felt safe at 40 and uh, she said, I'll tell you, her, the person who was watching her yard sales, like she said she'd take less for that. So they invited me to make an offer. And so I did. Uh, so that's probably going to be the big piece today. We'll look at the other stuff I got too. So the toolbox with the red tray is probably about $75 free shipping. A lot of people seem to sell it for um, like 40 plus 35 shipping or 50 plus 25 shipping or 75 free shipping, but it sells in that range quite a bit with the red tray. In this red tray, like these are all the just generic tools. Like this Craftsman, if this was clean, it would be worth selling. But with the handle all beat up and the end, I guess this one isn't as a lot of these uh, Craftsman They'd like mess, like shave the end at some point. But like this Craftsman three inch C clamp sells for $18. I didn't comp this yet, but this is a 10 inch Craftsman adjustable wrench, and that's probably worth some money. And then there's like these that are Billings brand, Billings brand, and there's a set. Definitely not a complete set, but there's a set of those. And then there's a bunch of open-end Craftsman wrenches. I'm a stud. So there's some open-end Craftsman wrenches. I have never seen this as the selector on a Craftsman uh, ratchet. So I'm very curious about that. A lot of times Craftsman stuff has numbers on it. I don't see a number on this. But I suspect it's probably worth what I paid for the whole thing. And then there's like the spark plug wrench that's Craftsman and a couple other or spark plug socket. Uh, and so there's a couple of, and then there's this William breaker bar and a William and a couple of William sockets that I can lot up. And these Craftsman 
locking pliers made in the US and they have a number on them so we'll look those up and then these are crescent brand like if you just see these they're not worth anything and these probably aren't worth selling individually but crescent brand makes these a high quality made in the US pair of super cheap generic pliers so that is the toolbox that we bought first and I think for 30 I ended up buying the toolbox and then he had the tray full of tools separately, but I knew it was the tray for this. So I'm like, that I need to have that tray if I'm gonna sell this as a collectible toolbox. And it's in really nice shape. And I think I'll get $70 for it. And then the tools, I paid $30, $33 for everything. The tools, I put comps up. I don't know what they're worth, but, or maybe I put my own listings up, but they're pretty good. And this baby was in the shade when I put her down here with the uh, blanket and Levi's over here being a good brother. And she had some breakfast, and it's probably going to be time for a nap here in a minute, huh? Say hi, Ruby. Say hi. 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 <laughs> Say patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Who's that to? Mark it with a B and throw it in the oven. For you and me. And then the last thing we picked up was this Universal Monsters. Holy cow, look at these pictures of Caleb and Evelyn. How funny is that? But this, I just listed, uh, I'm gonna hang out until Halloween on it. I really think it should sell for some tremendous money. And then there's this file, which is Lutz brand tools file, but then the file itself is made by Arcade, a 12 inch round file. It's probably 10 bucks plus shipping. Caleb picked this up, it might be 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, I'm going to have to look into it a little bit. It's definitely 25 or more. And then a vintage tracksuit. I've never seen the pants before. That's crazy. Um, and then a large jacket. And I think that's everything we got. Oh, yeah. And there was a fishing vest. And that's not really, I mean, let's call that 10 bucks plus shipping. I paid two. Um, I ended up at 38 at that that yard sale. Oh, because I bought some drill bits that are part of that, that were part of that big pile of tools that I'm going to keep and I'm keeping the cheap crap and selling off the good stuff because that's how I do I don't need a, a screwdriver that's worth 15 bucks if my if a one that I got for a dollar in a bunch of toolbox stuff will work so uh that's the day of picking I think we did pretty well I'm pretty darn excited about this here dude and everything is pretty good. Levi, tell him to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.